Welcome back to Tech Nuggets. This is part 4 of Tailwind CSS video series. In this video, we will see how do we organize our UI components with flex, grid and also table. Before we get into this video, there's a quick channel analytics. This channel is getting a good amount of view. However, there is a small percentage of viewers are subscribed. So, if you are not subscribed yet, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button now and follow me on Twitter. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and create a flex first. Okay, the so flex is a um, flexible box, whatever we call. However, it's a fluid container kind of thing where you put the UA components. Let's go ahead and create first thing. Say I would like to create. Let's create on header. Three. Let's flex. So the class will be. make make a nice green horizontal ruler Okay, so the basic way how do we create? Um, explain to you. Okay. This is a flex with the row, row reversed, call, call reverse. I'm going to explain. This is a flex. First thing, it's it's composed between multiple divs. Okay, now say I wanted to say flex, flex row. This is a row style. I wanted to create a flex with the multiple dues with the contains employee ID, first name, last name. So what I have here is so the major thing watch what you watch out is the keyword flex, flex row, and what what background you wanted for a flex, and then each day what color you want. Okay, I have a black text centered and the background is light yellow. Um, adding a 4, x padding 4, y padding 2, margin 2. Okay, now let's see how does it look. Awesome. So we have employee ID, first name, last name. Flex our what happened to this H3. Something is missing. Four. Oh, made a careful mistake. Okay, let's go ahead and see this now. Ideally, should have a better view. Perfect. Now I explained the row and uh, how do I make it as a row reversed flex row okay, row reverse you can see that it's reversed the order of the items and let's make that as a call the column based say i'm going to transpose transpose some rows into calls 
you can see that it became the other way around okay it became a single column values for all this now say call reverse You can see that employee id is moved down and uh, you will see first item as a last name so it's a reverse okay so how do we this is a basic uh, flex with multiple options column and row and uh, reverse in the normal way so what if i someone wants to create a responsive um flex okay see that how do we do that okay let's make some breaks so the major thing when you wanted to see as a responsive div um how does this screen looks like for what screen what it's supposed to happen it is a small screen i'll make it a uh, yeah, flex call if it's a medium screen I'll make it flex row reverse and uh, large then what I flex call reverse excel flex row pg so this is how you are going to create a responsive flex design see how does it look awesome because this screen is uh, 128 cross 720 it's actually a larger screen fairly large screen so you see flex call you actually if you oh, first the screen is this you will see when you have a screen size different then then you will see this effect okay okay now let's go ahead and create a grid um see so what i've done here is i created a h3 with a text for excel just a header and a hr with green okay nice uh, grid as a title with underline um this is a simple grid which i'm explaining so first thing um create a container view class give it as a grid and grid calls three gap four so i am creating a grid of uh, three columns and a gap of four between these columns and again let's take the same example of employee id first name last name okay so let's go ahead and see how does it look So this is an um chrome browser guys if you are seeing something different it's uh, it's having a black theme so don't get confused that i'm showing it somewhere else it's actually a chrome browser so employee id three calls and gap right so this is a basic um uh, basic grid with calls calls three right now the same way i can make this as a rows or i can increase the rows now let's move into as a row okay let's make it to calls the important thing uh, what you you have to notice notice the calls number of calls and gaps so by default um, tailwind comes with the 12 12 calls any grid or anything it's actually equally divided into 12 columns that's a default setting that can be modified as a configuration that you can customize okay you can play around with other styles too now the same way if i want to create uh, something like uh, 
solve this spanning rows right for example this is equal grid something similar to table however what if i want uh, some fancy uh, multi-span rows multi-span columns so how do i do that now let's see that okay so as usual you start with the view grid grid rows 3 grid flow it's a flow grid columns and gap 4 and in this you see there is a row span so the important thing the way you arrange the row span and call span that's how you are going to achieve that layout okay so the first one is uh, row span of 3 second one is uh, row span 1 however call span 2 third one will be row span 2 call span 2 okay let's go ahead and see this awesome so we have a very fancy grid with row span 3 and row span 1 call span 2 row span 2 call span 2 okay so this is about grid in fact you can make a responsive grid as i mentioned where you can um, use the screen size based on screen size you can change the grid flow also for example if it is a small screen medium screen big screen based on that you can change as of what we did for flex okay, okay now let's go ahead and create uh, tables in this layout series okay so let's see that so what we have is um there is as usual there is a header table and then there is a decoration for that with a chart then we have a table border collapse border 2 then every tr i am just making as a bg gray you can have whatever you want and uh, heading border and gray 400 grade and uh, x y padding okay. it's just a simple table with um, state and city all right let's go ahead and see the output So this is a table it's a nice clean table so there are two styles it's supported uh, in, in the table where we have a border collapse and border separate now I would like to say that border separate so it will show you the individual borders rather than collapsed one you can see that between there is a line space right so again here also it's your imagination or your creativity is a limit you can add all kind of styles because you are given with a lot of utilities you can make your own tables based on this okay let's make it back to collapse okay so this is about table for more uh, details on this components or layouts please feel free to refer the documentation of our tailwind css thank you we'll see you in another video